Hello, I'm Nariman Farvardin, President of Stevens Institute of Technology. I'm greeting you today from our magnificent new University Center complex, which is an unmistakable symbol of the tremendous progress Stevens has made in the last decade. The UCC will welcome its first residence in the fall, providing modern amenities and unmatched views for nearly 1,000 students. We held a wonderful dedication ceremony for this building and celebrated the successful conclusion of the Power of Stevens campaign with a ribbon cutting, receptions, and impact showcase which featured faculty and student innovations and a fireworks display to top off the evening. While the UCC opening was a highlight of the recently completed spring semester, it's just one of many accomplishments which fill me with pride and excitement. Our students were delighted to be back on campus. They were almost as excited as I was to have them back, and they made the most of it. In April, we held the largest ever annual innovation expo, which was a great success. The expo showcased more than 200 projects throughout campus and culminated with the Ansari Entrepreneurship Competition. It was marvelous to experience this signature event in person once again. Our varsity athletes had their best performance in many years, maybe ever, winning 13 MAC championships. The past semester alone, we had a national champion in wrestling, a top four finish in men's volleyball, and we currently stand 29th out of about 440 NCAA Division III schools. A few weeks ago, we held our 150th commencement ceremonies, awarding nearly 1,900 degrees and certificates. We celebrated 16 first-in-class students and welcomed Baseball Hall of Famer Cal Ripken Jr., as well as inventor and entrepreneur Dean Kamen as commencement honorees. Congratulations to the class of 2022 on all you have accomplished and best of luck as you begin the next phase of your journey. I'm also proud to report that in March, Stevens received the 2022 Active Minds Healthy Campus Award for our commitment to students' physical and mental health. This national and highly competitive award is a great honor, and I thank the members of the Mental Health Task Force, the Stevens Wellness Team, and all community members who prioritize our students' needs through programs, initiatives, and importantly, daily interactions. Our faculty research enterprise is also firing on all cylinders. With several weeks left in the fiscal year, research awards are the highest in Stevens history at more than $54 million. We're also in the midst of a vigorous recruiting process aiming to hire 43 new faculty members in fiscal year 23. And I'm so delighted to report that our alumni gathered in person on campus for Alumni Weekend for the first time since 2019. More than 1,000 alumni, friends, and family members attended, our highest attendance yet at an Alumni Weekend. And several classes from the 1960s through 2021 celebrated reunions. Finally, we'll look forward to our next decade of growth and transformation and are even now putting the finishing touches on a new strategic plan for the next decade. Ambitious and bold, it will create a roadmap to achieve even greater heights as a national and global leader in technology-oriented education and research. I am excited to share the details of this plan with all of you in the coming months. As always, none of these achievements would be possible without the commitment and collaboration of all of you, our dedicated alumni, talented students, remarkable faculty and staff, and our loyal friends. I thank you all and wish you a happy and healthy summer.